Safa Nesbitt Artist here again today with you doing another video. Recently I had a, a question, a comment on one of my paintings about how do I do my backgrounds. So today I'm going to share a little video with you. This is one of the paintings that I had posted. So they were wondering about how I got those wonderful backgrounds. So I'm going to show you a quick little demo on how I did that. So let me set this up and see if we can get things going here. Here's my canvas and as you see I'm working on about, a, I think this one's an 8 by 8 ish. I have my palette here, nice paper plate with all my favorite colors going. Sometimes I'll give my canvas a little squirt with just some water. This one I have not gessoed, so it's just actually straight canvas from the store. I'm going to start with a little bit of this teal color because I absolutely love teal. And as you can see, I'm working pretty wet here. A little bit of my favorite dark blue, anthraquinoin. Scrub that on. This brush is kind of stiff, um, nice stiff bristle, good size brush. So I'll bring some of that blue down. I'm using a heavy body acrylic. Most of these are by Golden, although I do love M. Graham. So there's some blue colors. Let's get into my greens a little bit. This is Azo Green. And I love to just combine this wherever. Let's put a little bit more of that Azo on this canvas. I'm doing a forest series, so often a lot of my colors are nice, dark, foresty colors. As you can see, I'm being fairly random about this. I do like to get a color in about three places on my canvas. Let's add a little bit more of that teal. And a little more azo here and there, I think. A little more right there. Oh dear, I'm running out of azo. A little bit more right there. And let's go back into that nice dark blue I love for this corner. Remember your edges. I'm not doing edges real quick in this demo just because I want to share with you my process. So that's where I start. And then again, I'll give it a good spritz to let those colors play with each other and dance around. Sometimes if I want the drippy look of the forest, I'll go ahead and put my canvas up a bit and let those colors drip down. Nice moss or things like that for um, ideas on that. So as you can see those colors are starting to run and I'm getting some nice shapes in there. If you don't like them running or if you get to the point where you kind of like an area, just lay it flat again. I'm going to give a little bit more spritz to that dark blue. Oh, my spritz is running out. There we go. And maybe tilt it the opposite direction for a minute and let those colors play. Man, I'm going to tip it again. So oftentimes, this is how I start my canvases, by just letting the, the paint play. So I'm going to leave this flat now for a bit and let it dry and come back and touch my edges up as it's drying to get some paint down on the edges that lingerie I spoke of in one of my other videos. So I encourage you to play, have fun, and experiment. Really, that's what painting is about for me. It's just getting in there with those brushes and those colors and, and having some fun. So that's my video for today, folks. Happy painting. Keep those brushes wet.